Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Nuclear Throne Ultra. We're jumping in again. This time I'm going to go as a rebel to try and get ourselves the next secret ultra. We've got one here. This one we have to either have an ultra weapon or have no healing mutations. So kind of difficult. Um, definitely going to be one that's a little trickier. But I think we can do it. Um, and basically with this, this, uh, this ultra, I'm not going to spoil what it does, but it seems real interesting. Seems real interesting, but yeah, Rebel, a character that, I, I'll be honest, I'm not like a huge, huge fan of. Uh, it's okay, we've got the micro assault rifle here, I like that a lot. Yeah, Portal's healing us is rather nice, so basically that's going to be like our only form of healing. Oh dude, the, the micro, it's just so good. And we'll try and get a crown when we can here. Um, we'll go with Open Mind for the extra rad canisters um, and potentially better weapons as well, but... Uh, I'm going to try and get the um, the crown that I used in the last episode, the one where we lose a weapon every stage, but we get more chests, because honestly, that seems like one of the best crowns for early game that you can use, and I really want to utilize it more. Um, okay, just 10 a pop. we got two health left. Got him. Yeah, leveling up pretty goddamn quick here. I like it. Um, and then, so that's healing. Honestly, glass arm kind of notes risky, but I think the extra damage could be very nice with a gun like this. This is a weapon that I want to keep for a little while here. We'll try and get mood swing later on and do some elemental stuff as well. That's going to always be the way that I go about things, basically from now on, because that is just the most fun mutation to have. Charge laser will take us our secondary, I think. I think we're pretty much good to go here. Yes, I like the extra damage bonus. Very good, and we're leveling up really, really quickly. Obviously, we're trying to hit ultra as fast as we can. Um, so we want to be taking anything we can take to gain more rads more quickly. Um, <clears throat> we'll go with impact wrists here. We're going to try anything, try to try avoid anything that could class as healing. I actually don't know what classes as healing, but it does mean that we're probably not going to be able to use our ability all that much, which isn't ideal, but I think overall that's fine. Extra chests is nice here. Yeah, this, this thing will carry us a little ways with the extra damage bonus. And then impact wrists, obviously, is a pretty good bonus on top of that too. So, tough shell. I don't know if that counts as... That, that wouldn't count as healing. Let me just check the, the thing again. Um, have no healing mutations. I don't think that classes as healing. It doesn't heal us but, uh, for anything. So I'm going to take that and try that out. It does give us bonus HP. Um, it does give us some defense, but it doesn't heal us at all. So I think it's fine. I think as long as it doesn't actually give us HP through any means, we'll be okay. But yeah, as I said, I don't really know which ones will count and which ones won't. So I'm a little bit in the dark when it comes to that. As you can see though, this this setup is uh, clearly the way to go right now. We are able to demolish. And we can take our crown here. It means we can start next run with a crown as well. A little annoying here, but we're getting through it. Right, back we go. Good, good. Yeah, and yeah, we take our crown here for the extra rad canisters. Uh, where the hell's the crown thing? Somewhere over here. Thank you. And then it's this one here, I believe. Yes, because we're not using our secondary weapon at the moment anyways. Um, so we might as well get the extra chests um, and be able to do some good stuff with that. Annoying to have to deal with all these goddamn snipers at the moment. I'm trying my best here, but it's it's quite overwhelming. It's quite overwhelming indeed. Luckily, we've got some HP there. Good, good. I want to take that air uh, flail there. Bouncer shotgun's kind of interesting. I don't know, do I want the flail or do I want to just stick with this? This thing's good. Let's have a look. What level's the flail? Flail's level 10 and it is cursed. I'm going to take it as my secondary and see if it lets me keep it because it's cursed. Um, 
I'm going to go with this because we're using a burst weapon. It does let us keep it with it being cursed, so that's nice. That's how we can kind of get out of this. But yeah, with this, um, we do gain more uh, shots, more projectiles in each burst for the same amount of ammo. That's very, very nice. Just got to be a little cautious. Probably shouldn't have done that considering I'm losing out on the reds. Okay, then we got a few here. I like the flail, it's good stuff. Oh, really? Can we get through here? No, we can't. God damn it. We go all the way back to the start. We are already level 7, though. We're speeding through reasonably fast. Um. I don't really know here. Uh, extra feet I'm going to take because I, I keep getting really annoyed with... Um, do you know what Thundercracken? Yeah, Thundercracken seems like a, a good grab. I really like the fact that if you've got a curse weapon, it just lets you keep it. <laughs> it can't take them away from you. It's kind of a way to cheese the system a little bit with this uh, with this crown. I like it. But yeah, a low level weapon like this with the tail is just so goddamn good. Look at the amount of chests. <laughs> it's just an obscene amount of chests. I mean, we do have open mind on top of this, so there is there is kind of a double thing going on here, but it's still wild. And this weapon's just killing it right now. Good, good, good. Definitely need some more HP, but we do heal on traveling through the portals, so we don't need it as badly as other characters would. We are getting a good amount of HP drops as well, to be honest. And honestly, we're doing so much extra damage with, like, knocking the enemies around. I don't like the situation I've caught myself in here. He did try it. He did try it. We've got this electric kraken thing going on here that's doing some pretty gnarly damage. I kind of took this mainly for, uh, for bosses more than anything. Yeah. I see you there, boy. I see it. Through we go. Level 8 already. Baby, this is good stuff. Uh, Plutonium Hunger is just incredible. And we'll go Blood on this as well. Plutonium, Plutonium Hunger is something that I need to remember to take every single time. Because it's, it's, just, it's just that good. The range it gives you is obscene on sucking stuff up. And it visually just looks really cool. I meant to switch weapon there. Oh, I lost my weapon because it uncursed itself. I'm foolish. I didn't think about that. That's kind of a, a, an interesting downside to taking cursed weapons. You do lose them eventually. Oh, we got our Thundercracken back though, just not a, not a cursed one this time. There's no way to keep a weapon cursed if you go through a throne vault, is there? Unfortunately so. Yeah, this is, this is definitely the way to go in terms of getting rads. Okay, I took a lot of damage there, and I'm likely to die here if I'm not careful. The bats just end me every time. But, we can get HP. Don't, don't fret, don't worry. Just keep an eye on the bats. They just keep coming. They just keep coming. Come on, HP. Luckily, we have Plutonium Hunger, so we can keep our distance when we grab the HP. Okay, let's come back over here while the bat makes his way over to us. There's just too many of them, man. Okay, we've got some HP there. Good. Come on, bat. Make your way over. You can't just shoot at me from a distance. It's not fair. It's not very sportsman-like, is it? Good. Need some more ammo as well. Our ammo is lacking a little bit here. We're not getting much out of um, the bodies flying around here either. Wish we were getting a bit more out of that. 
Did you get another curse weapon here? So let's take that, whatever it is. Curse weapon's just always worth grabbing with this crown. We got macro machine gun there as well. Okay, cool. We're okay. We're okay. We're all good. Full HP as well. We're level nine already. Um, probably rabbit's paw is good because that's that's like not a healing one, but it does give us extra health. Extra health drops at least. Right. Honestly, this thing's probably best for this because it's super easy to hit him because of its the nature of the projectiles being very, very fast. Yeah, there you go. I thought so. This thing's just amazing. The macro guns, micro guns, macro, whatever you want to call them, micro guns are just perfect. Oh, that was kind of close. A little bit too close for comfort, but we're okay. Get go down this way. Hey, there you go. We got our ultra. That should give us it, as long as we can live through this stage. Which I reckon we can do. Got some HP there for some reason. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Got you as well. Good, good. Didn't get many big dogs this time around. Okay, good stuff. There we go. Plus 50 max HP. You cannot heal in every loop. Reset your HP to full. Allies cost ammo. <clears throat> Pretty wild. Pretty wild. But no healing for us. <clears throat> Does mean I need to be slightly more careful around the big dogs because they do a lot of damage. But yeah, this is good stuff. I can put this mutation down as uh, crown now down now though as well. Double accelerator. Nice. We'll take that. Right, through here we go. We can take Morph or Frost. We'll probably take Frost on this bad boy. Hello? What are, what are you? Listen? Energy results in energy. I don't know what that means. Is that a hint to something? Right. And then we can take... Is it Narrow Future? Free Mutation, Narrow Future. There you go, look. Um... Puffy cheeks, why not? Infinite shotgun, energy sword. Okay. We still lost our weapon, though. Where's that crown? Oh, there it is. <laughs> we still lost our weapon, even though we had a different crown when we left. Which is not what I was expecting to happen there. A little bit weird. But we have quite a bit of HP right now. Quite a bit of HP. I think this is the most any character can gain, right? Must be. Good thing is, we can stay quite far away from everything here because we've got plutonium hunger. We'll grab the ammo either way. We'll also get a full heal after this fight as well. So we're not at super high risk. Come on, boy. You gotta be nearly dead now. You gotta be nearly dead. God damn. We got like infinite ammo, but d dude, he got close to the end there. This weapon is falling off a little bit. Nah, I can't really energy sword it too well there. I can I guess I could freeze him and then energy sword him. Not the best of strategies, really. 
There you go, we got him. Oh my god, I took so much damage then. But I didn't die. Unfortunately, I'm- I've, Ah, there you go. I, I healed up luck, there you go. Good stuff. Blob cannon. I'll see what blob cannon is. It isn't... I'm pretty sure blob cannon's one of the new ones, you know. If I just go and take a little look-see in the Discord, one second. I, I know you guys can just see a black screen right now. But there was a bunch of contest winners that got to add a bunch of new weapons to the game recently. Um... So, we can take a little look in the Discord of what some of them are. Here we go. Competition winners. Blob gun, blob cannon, yes. So this is one of the contest ones. Um, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Fires a big ink blob that spawns smaller ink blots, and they can be set on fire. So, cool new weapon. I mean, you can see that this is clearly quite a good weapon. The inky, blotty, blobby mess of whatever this is. It's pretty good. We are taking quite a bit of damage, unfortunately. We got him. We got him. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, although, saying that, I think I do want to take the inversion magnet. Because I've heard about some ways to get a lot of golden weapons, so... Yeah, this is a really, really good weapon. I like this thing quite a bit. Good, like, AoE potential, which is always nice. Doesn't, doesn't do great on single target, though, unfortunately. Doesn't do amazing on single target. We've not got a great amount of health left either right now. We've used up a lot of it already, to be honest. We just destroy walls and stuff, though, which is nice. Yeah, not not a, not an awful lot of HP left yet at the moment. We also have run out of ammo, too, which isn't ideal. Super Trident. One I haven't seen before. Okay. Inverted area, I think. Or normal. Go inverted, I guess. Super Trident. I'm going to go with the Super Trident. Because it's infinite ammo. Oh lord, the... Not having extra range on this thing is scary. On 30 HP already. I didn't realize I'm fighting another mum. Shit. Okay, this this could be bad. Okay, that was actually a really quick kill there. Nice. Froggy boy, we got him. The oh, rats, man. The goddamn rats. Lightning on this thing, why not? We good? We good. Okay, we're in YVs. This isn't actually where I'm meant to be. I was meant to go to the inverted one, but this'll do. Right, having lightning on this thing is very, very nice right now, because we've got a bit of AoE.
Did we seriously only get two? Okay, here we go. This is the inverted one we'll be going to. Ow. This is sketchy as fuck, man. I dropped my golden weapons into Gur, thank you. The hell's this? Sacrifice a melee weapon? Hell yeah. The hell is this thing? I've never seen this in my life, but I'm interested. This is new to me. Right, now I have very, very little health to work with here. I doubt I'm going to live to the next loop, but we can hope for the best. I don't think having 50 HP is really the, the ideal circumstance, to be honest. But this weapon? This weapon seems good. Yeah, we're at 4 HP already. I think we're, I think we're pretty done for now. Unfortunate. But there you go, that was another secret ultra unlocked, and a pretty cool one at that. Um, not maybe the best of all of them, but still pretty cool nonetheless. I hope you guys did enjoy this one, I'll see you guys in the next one.